Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be slightly different. We're not going to talk about political news. Uh, we're going to pay tribute to His Royal Highness Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. Um, after the sad news that we heard earlier, I thought it's best to take at least one day off from politics, party politics and ideologies and talk about this great man. And I know that a lot of people, some people are not pro-monarchy and they might be Republicans. They might have different views when it comes to the political structure that we have in this country. But at the end of the day, when it comes to this man, he was a public servant. He was a husband, a father, a grandfather, not just to his grandchildren, but to the whole of the nation. And uh, I earlier today, I went to I went outside Buckingham Palace uh, to uh, see what's actually happening, see the vibe. And uh, it, it was it's kind of fascinating how this sad day has uh, truly united the nation once again. Yeah, as you just saw yourself, uh, the vibe, everybody got together again, regardless of political views and the, the each ideological side that we have, everybody decided to just unite behind what happened today. And when it comes to Prince Philip himself, again, people have different opinions when it comes to the royal family, the monarchy. Uh, and uh, But let's talk about this man himself, because as a public servant, um, as a young man, he joined the Navy. He also sacrificed his own personal life and freedom uh, by getting into the royal family while marrying the future queen and obviously standing right beside her, supporting her. And obviously, of course, a lot of ups and downs. Uh, but the whole point of this is that for one day, if we put aside our political differences, even if you are not pro-monarchy, just appreciating uh, this man's service and sacrifice, a lot of people only focus on the privilege that, you know, oh, well, they had a comfortable life financially, uh, being funded by the taxpayer mainly. But is that really relevant to when it comes to everything else that they had to obviously give up and everything else that they have done, not just for the country, but the whole of the culture, the British culture that we have, the stability of the system that we have. Now, there are a lot of things that uh, Prince Philip has said in the past and uh, believed and uh, a lot of jokes, a lot of uh, certain remarks, but there's a few that I actually really like and my favorites. One was uh, on the members of parliament when he visited Ghana and they're speaking to uh, someone about the fact that Ghana had only about 200 members of parliament. He said, that's about the right number. We have 650 and most of them are a complete bloody waste of time. Well, I can't disagree with that, Philip. <laughs> so uh, that, that's uh, just one comment when it comes to members of parliament. When it comes to his own manners, he actually said that, I know you will never think much of me. I am rude and unmannerly. And I say many things out of turn, which I realize afterwards uh, must have hurt someone. Then I am filled with remorse and I try to put matters right. So he knew about um, the, the way he was and uh, he knew that a lot of the certain things and jokes that he made could hurt people. And of course, he wasn't uh, a, a careless person in that sense. Uh, but finally, there's one thing about flying because he loved flying. Uh, someone actually asked after... Uh, one of his experiences, they said, what was your flight like? His Royal Highness said, have you ever f uh, flown in a plane? The official said, oh yes, sir, many times. Well, it was just like that. He said, <laughs> absolutely legend. Um, again, we just have to focus on uh, what matters here. Uh, Prince Philip, in terms of the service that he provided uh, throughout his, not, for, not just career, just life in general, sacrificing a lot of things that he could have done instead, um, but also the fact that he was still a human being. He was a father, a grandfather, a husband, 
and a friend to many people. So uh, put aside the political differences. There's always, uh, there always, there's always another day to talk about things like that. Uh, and to finish this video, let's go to one of my favorite moments of Prince Philip. This very private of public couples, quite a romantic gesture. Finish? <laughs>